Well, this is embarrassing, but Grandpa, I just want to point out that sometimes even the younger people can't understand technology. So, for the third time, I hope you have a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Grandpa. Happy birthday. Hope your birthday's a lot better than that song was. Take care. <laughs> oh, come on. Hi, everybody. I just wanted to share one of my favorite memories of me and you was, of course, on my wedding day, um, when Nick and his friend Bills were up on stage jamming out to some heavy metal. Um, no one else really knew what to do. I was the only one kind of getting into it and dancing, and then all of a sudden you come out and swoop onto the stage and grab me to start swing dancing to some hardcore metal. So that was super fun, something I'll never forget. Um, you always remind us to take every opportunity to live life to the fullest. Um, never miss an opportunity to dance, even if everyone is watching. Um, so just always, you always remind me to be myself and um, be proud of that. So thank you for that. And in honor of that, we have Nick Petrulis himself and my not so beautiful voice. Ready, go. Happy birthday to you. Oh my God. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear grandpa. Happy birthday to you. Last time you played was our wedding. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we love you, Grandpa. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hi, Grandpa. I'm in the car with Dad and Dad. Uh, I just want to say happy birthday and thank you for all that you do for us. You're always so kind and happy. And thanks for having us down there all the time. It's always super fun. Um, one of my favorite moments, or it's more of one moment, but I like fishing with you and riding the golf cart up at your house. That's always fun. Oh yeah, in the basketball tournament. You always take us to that. That's always great. You started that tradition a long time ago. Still going strong with it. And even though I don't remember it, the Alaska trip. I know I don't remember much from it because I was two, but that was really nice of you. You didn't have to do that, but you did it for your family. So this is us saying thank you. Grandpa, I just wanted to say happy birthday. Um, one of the things that I appreciate most about you is the e-cards that we always get for holidays. Um, you send them to all the grandkids and I look forward to getting them. My Valentine's one was the only real Valentine's card I got. Uh, and my favorite memory was definitely our cruise to Alaska that we all got to spend the time together and hang out. It was pretty sweet and very nice of you. I hope you have a great birthday, and we'll see you soon. Love you. All right, Grandpa. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You look like a monkey, and you smell like one, too. Happy birthday, Grandpa. Thanks for being one of the greatest guys I know and teaching me to always have fun, laugh, and be kind. It really has gone a long way in my life. So thank you. Look forward to seeing you soon.
Good boy. Whoop. He'll miss you. Say, love you. Happy birthday. Rich Anderson, it's me Noor, your boy from Philippines. What I appreciate most about you is when we first met, you treat me like a real son, even though you don't know me very well that time. And my favorite memories that I had with you is when you let me drive your golf cart and when you let me use your fishing rod for fishing with your grandson Alec Anderson and I know that I should not do this as a Muslim but as a sinful Muslim I would greet you a happy happy birthday wish you all the best that's all thank you Hello Grandpa Anderson, I'm wishing you a happy birthday from Argentina, if you remember me, I remember you, our great breakfast lunch we had, and I hope you're enjoying your day with your wonderful family, love you all. Happy birthday Grandpa, have a nice day, a lot of kisses from San Sebastian. Hello Grandpa, as the first and now the oldest visiting kids, I am very very happy to wish you a happy birthday. I still remember what you told me uh, at the end of our last dinner in Chicago before going back to France. You wished me a very good life and said you won't probably see me again. Today, 25 years later, I'm still here and I wish you a happy birthday. Enjoy the fiesta. Bye bye.
Lindsay, wishing you the best and lots of love. Happy birthday, Uncle Richie. Happy birthday, Uncle Richie. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Uncle Richie. Uncle Richie. Hope you have a great day and you don't have any snow to shovel. Yeah, no snow. Bye. Can you believe it? It's our third time doing this. Happy birthday, <laughs> Louie and Susie, Central Wisconsin. Enjoy your day. Have a great one. <laughs> working now. My Rich, it's me. I'm, I'm happy to say happy birthday to you two days in a row now, although you won't see this for about a week. Uh, I often think about you, Rich, because we've done so many things together over the years, and uh, I think you might remember some of these things. We started out at Evanger together, and then we went to Taft. We went to Illinois Westland. We were in Theta Chi fraternity together. In fact, we even played doubles tennis partners in, in tennis, didn't we, in the intramurals. We joined the Army, U.S. Army, on the same day, and we're, we're consecutive serial numbers, along with Don Schwatner, who's a third number. And, oh well, gosh, Rich, we played Pinochle. We both married a Helen. That's really something, too, isn't it? Uh, we played tennis together. We played uh, softball. We went played racquetball together. Pinochle, we square danced together, we went camping together. I'm not going to talk about the trip we took to uh, Canada fishing, that one I'm going to skip completely. But Rich, you are, and always have been, my best friend. You were my best man at my wedding. In fact, you were the best man I ever had at a wedding. In fact, that's the only wedding I've ever had. But uh, happy birthday, Rich, and have many more. Hope to see you one day. Thanks, buddy. Bye. Hi, my name is Jim Rawson. Rich and I have known each other for 76 years now. We, we lived in the same area in Edison Park. You know, and all summer we would play ball, whether it was football or baseball or basketball. That's what we did for all our, all our years into high school. Now, 
which is a very good friend and the greatest friend one one could have. He he is totally honest and uh, he doesn't ever seem to have any hidden agendas. He's he's completely open with things. We we've been through a lot of things together and uh, I treasure my relationship with Rich. Thank you.